Hi, Tim. Hi, Tim. Okay, I'm just saying hello to myself. Uh, but, hi, folks. Tim here from High End Cheap Tech. We're going to ignore that little faux pas and continue to plod onwards. Uh, tonight, we're going to do a teardown of the Artec. Uh, HV030B. Why are we doing this? Well, because Tim was an idiot and he melted two keys, which we'll talk about during the video. But I figured people might want to see what's on the inside. There's 12 screws back here. We'll get to those. I'll take them out and we'll pop the cover off. And you can see. What's back there? Not much, but you might be surprised. Uh, and, of course, I had to buy another one, which I am currently using. And the owner's manual, by the way, has been updated. Uh, once the light turns green, you're fully charged. And eh, you can just unplug your charger and move on with your life. So let's get right to the intro, and we're going to do this in Power Director, Zoom, whoosh, like the wind, on the Axon M. Check the links in the description below for the Axon M, and for this device. It's a great device, just don't go dropping a cigarette on it. Don't be stupid, like me. Thanks for watching, and let's... Do that intro. Hi, folks. Tonight we're uh, just killing some time. We're going to take apart the Artec H. B030B. Um, nothing wrong with it. I have one down here. The other ones. Um, well, I screwed up. Let's just say I left a cigarette hanging above the device, and as you'll notice, the F key melted in his. I mean, you know, it goes up and down, but it's no longer functional. So, I thought maybe everyone would want to look inside this thing. So, we're going to do that right now. There's 12 screws that we're going to remove and drop into this great big cup back here. And now we're going to use a little screwdriver uh, for my... Uh, Glasses repair kit, and uh, we're gonna see what's back there. Be right back. All right, folks, I've removed all 12 screws from the back. Quite simply done with my, you know, little glasses repair kit screwdriver here, which probably will not focus. No, it's all right. Uh, and then uh, let's take a peek at what's inside, since this one is no longer really functional. That comes right off after you take the 12 screws out. Now, surprisingly, yeah, that's a metal back, folks. The rest of the device is plastic. Uh, I'm guessing the uh, plastic covering back here could be removed so you can get to these other screws and maybe pull the keyboard out. But this is just to let you know how it's put together, what it looks like, uh, and, mm -hmm. well,
That is a 1.85 watt hour, 500 milliamp hour battery. It's in here. There's some stuff there. Uh, just made this for the curiosity seekers out there. I'm going to be tossing this thing. I'm not going to tear it down any further. I don't have time for that. I really don't care that much. I just know. <laughs> Do not leave. Yeah, show a demonstration on a new one without the cigarette burning. But if you have a tendency on your desk, yeah, like a cigarette down. Yeah. You end up with something like this with damaged keys that don't press or work anymore. And you end up buying another one of these. Like this. That work super good. So just be careful around these keyboards. They're not really repairable at all. You're going to end up having to spend more money. Uh, yeah, obviously don't pour water in them and uh, yeah, like I do I bought the little vacuum here from Keep the Peak and I vacuum this thing out every day with said vacuum. I change the filter in the vacuum every other day keeps ashes and crumbs and food products out of it so this is a fantastic keyboard just take care of it that's all i have for tonight if you enjoyed this video give us a thumbs up please subscribe to the channel and uh Hit that notification bell and read the description below. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, and, hmm. By the way, that plastic just fell off so I can get to all the screws in the back if I wanted to. Just notice that. Uh, doesn't really matter. I'm going to toss this one in the trash. Although, I'm considering saving the battery in case the other one ever needs a battery replacement. You just, you know, these are things you don't know. And really don't give a shit about. So, that's it for tonight. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.